Most cancer treatment plans, they go after killing cancer cells, which is the goal, but few plans teach your immune system to finish the job. In this episode, we're gonna talk about DAMPs, Damage Associated Molecular Patterns. These are important signals and need to be mapped out in the cancer treatment so that your immune system can do what it needs to do, modulate care. We don't want it to be too much or too low. It's like a two-edged sword. I'm gonna to talk to you today about a step-by-step -step process that is important in the treatment of oncology as we're building the plans, because this is what gives us a huge advantage. And I'll show you some techniques and tools that you can do. But whether we're using unlabeled drugs, which are FDA approved for the cancer, or off-label integrative repurposed drugs, or natural treatments, phytotherapeutics, nanoparticle IV, things like curcumin, or using high dose C or ozone therapy, all the latest in integrative care, or a cellular biologics vaccine, which is using your own natural killer cells and dendritic cells, the key is it needs to be designed for you. An immunogenic cell death, because at the end of the day, it's these damps that are making all the difference in the world. Your cancer cells, when they're stressed, they release these damage-associated molecular patterns and they send out signals to get rid of the cancer. It's like a beacon that alerts the body to get the cancer out and the immune system to remove it. At the right doses, it triggers an immunogenic cell death. Dendritic cells, natural killer cells, immunity, they know what to do, where to go. In the wrong doses, it can be harmful. So this is what we see with standard chemotherapy and radiation. The doses are way too high because there's no targeting. They're only using 24 marks a biopsy, a tumor marker, and imaging to use a double-blind placebo clinical trial population health strategy to treat you. Let me tell you what I mean. Two cancers, same type and stage, have totally different markers. It's called heterogeneity. If you test all of these markers, thousand plus markers, these cancers are different. The targets are different. Today, we're not treating cancer like that. In standard oncology, everybody's given the same one size fits all. The problem with that is it also comes with maximum therapeutic dose, which causes inflammation, resistance, and spread. Why? Why? Because of damps. The damage associated molecular patterns are at such a high release that they cause this resistance and the spread and this mutation because it's too strong. But when you have the right mapping, you can microdose maybe 10%, not have the side effects, not lose your hair, be fatigued, low energy, have your immune system be trained because it's used correctly and targeted. So it's not giving too much, it's giving just the right amount of the right dose of what you need. And this all starts with detailed mapping. Even when we grow, biological cellular vaccines with natural killer cells and dendritic cells, we use damps, we use peptides, we use these targets that are specific for the patient. So the immune system can grow in number and go after the cancer. Then we can monitor that because every four to six weeks, depending on how difficult the cancer is, sometimes it'll mutate. And so you can stay ahead of it and treat it and get the long-term response of the immune system, which is the goal. This doesn't matter if you're using natural agents. Oftentimes a natural agent may actually interfere with the care or push the wrong marker in the wrong direction without testing, you don't know that. It's kind of a hit or miss, treating blindly instead of having all the information in front of you. Think of this, you're driving down the road and it's nighttime already, so you can't see very well. And now you're blindfolded and you're supposed to know how to treat this cancer. But imagine turning the lights on. Now it's daytime. We're driving through the day, bright, vivid colors. We can see ahead. We can see anything in the road. We can get around everything and everything becomes visible. This is the importance of testing and mapping out with multi omics testing, DNA, RNA, and spatial biology, not just a few DNA tests, but a full multi-omics test. At the same time, we also want to do great integrative care that's targeted for the patient. For example, if we see a target for melatonin, not only can we give up to a 200 milligrams of bedtime under supervision, but we go IV. We can get the IV to go past the blood-brain barrier as well if we're dealing with neurological type cancers. It all becomes specific to the patient on what the target is, the combination of phytotherapeutics, the combination of on and off-label being used for that patient patient so they get the best care that they need. This is the key. So it's so important that patients understand whether they're going to see a good or bad response. It has a lot to do with the damps, the damage associated molecular patterns, the targeting of the cancer. This will help your body know how to kill the cancers. It creates a virtuous cycle. You get a kill of the tumor or the cancer cells releases damps. Think of it as like signals. Then the signals get passed to the detectives, the dendritic cells. These dendritic cells, they will get mug shots, fingerprints, ID everything, crime scene and then pass the information to the natural killer cells, which are snipers, and they can take out the cancer. And we just continue this over and over till this restores your body's function to eliminate the cancer. That's the power of the immune system. No matter what you're doing, that's the key. That's what's going to make a difference in helping the cancer go into remission and stay in remission in my clinical experience. And what we've seen with our patients, when we have such good responses in patients is because the immune system is doing its work. Every day, your immune system does that over 10,000 times 
times a day deletes cancer and precancer cells. So we want to stimulate the body to do that correctly. So when you have cancers and they're resistant and they've become large and they're moving to multiple areas in the body, you need help with targeting and precision. It's not easy to do with just the metabolic theory of shutting down the glucose. That's part of it, but it's not really the whole picture. We're just using shutting down glutamine and pulsing it with chemo. It's not enough. What you really need is a combination of shutting down the things that are feeding the metabolic side of the cancer, but then you need all this deep mapping so you can be precise with treatment and ultimately let the immune system do what it does best, remove the cancer, because that's what it does. The latest in cancer treatment is always going to be immunotherapy. It's what is changing the game in cancer, and it's going to help us go into long-term remissions because the first and last defense against cancer is the immune system, and it's the one that actually is cytotoxic killing the cancer, not cytostatic, as most chemotherapy is today, especially the smart drugs that slow things down, but ultimately don't kill the cancer. So you need an algorithm that uses all this data that's designed to kill the cancer. That's the work of precision oncology. I hope this episode was helpful, gave you some information and showed you more about how to approach cancer. May the Lord bless you on your journey to healing.